Hi, this is Ross and this is DIY on the house. Today I want to show you how to replace a bathroom sink faucet. Um, we're going to replace the old uh, uh, polished uh, brass faucets with these new uh, stainless steel uh, faucets from uh, Delta and also show you how to replace the stops and supplies that are underneath uh, the vanity. And that's the, that's the shutoff valve. Uh, these have a old corrugated type uh, uh, supply line which tends to crack when you uh, remove it. So we're going to replace that, put on a flexible line and everything will be awesome. So the first thing you need to do is to shut off the water to the house. Um, and that's because we're replacing the stops. So uh, when we undo those, we're actually going to have open pipe. So the water needs to be uh, shut off and drained. And uh, we'll show you how to do that. And just as we get the water shut off, so it's just going to trickle down to nothing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is once we have the water drained, I'm going to crawl under the vanity here and we're going to remove the stop. I'll go ahead and remove, uh, change out both of these. This is the corrugated line I'm talking about. This stuff is, it gets very brittle over time. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some uh, adjustable channel lock wrenches type and then also some uh, adjustable wrench, uh, crescent wrench type. And these are crescent. So first thing I'm going to do, we're going to, these stops are by chance they're uh, compression style. What I mean about compression is that there's a, a back compression nut on the uh, stop itself and uh, that uh, it's got a, and it has a brass ferrule in there. This brass ferrule slips over the copper pipe, which is half inch, and uh, the nut then is followed behind. And when it's put on, it actually compresses onto the copper and that's what keeps it in place. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab on the back here of this, stop on the back compression nut, and grab onto the body of the valve, and I'm going to loosen that back compression. So, and this is where I need the bucket down below, as you'll see. I'll start getting some water coming up. Okay, so that back nut is now loose. So I'm going to wiggle that and start breaking that loose on the pipe. And there's our water. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, since these compression nuts are typically probably 99.9% .9 that's all threaded the same. Um, we don't have to put a new nut and ferrule on. We'll use the existing since it's already set. And then I take some, uh, it's pipe dope, it's a thread uh, sealant. I'm gonna actually just coat that old ferrule that's on there, just to make sure we get a seal. Take our new stop and because these are actually plumbed fairly high. I'm going to point this stop down. And then I'm going to screw on that back nut. There. Once we get once it starts to to compress, you can feel it. So these to be straight down. And then I'm going to go ahead and crank it down now. And there we go. So that stop is actually replaced right now. And make sure you Keep them in the off position when you're installing them. That way when you go to turn the water back on, you don't forget and then you walk back into a big old flood. So I'll go ahead and replace the other one. Okay, so once the uh, old new stops are replaced, I went ahead and removed uh, one of the old stops and supplies. These are the ones I'm talking about. It's got kind of a corrugated look to it and uh, some rubber up top. This part screws onto the faucet uh, connections. And this is of course where it's, uh, it's onto the wall, or onto the copper that's dubbed down the wall. So, um, and this stuff is, of course it's not gonna get brittle today. A lot of times when you bend this, it will actually crack in these uh, locations right here. 
and then uh, makes it unusable to where you end up having to replace it. So it's just a good idea to go ahead and update everything, uh, re replace it. You can put uh, quarters, turn stops, that's what I use, um, and uh, just get rid of the old stuff and so you don't have any issues with leakage down the road. So I uh, went ahead and uh, the water is back on, um, checked everything, no leaks, yay! And uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the other stop off of this faucet and then uh, remove the uh, um, the retaining nuts that to hold the faucet down. So we'll show you that. Okay, so the first things first, we're going to undo the nut on the supply line. And we may get a little bit of water discharge off of it. So we're going to bring that off and luckily there's very little. Now the retaining nut on this is actually up here at this location. It's going to want to go just loosen that up a little bit. Um, Different faucets, different styles. Some of, her, some of them are a large plastic nut, which you'll have to get that off, and sometimes that could be a little challenging, but you just gotta, you just keep working at it. Now I'm gonna, un, I'm gonna undo the pop-up lever assembly, and there's that. Now that everything is disconnected from down below, I'm gonna pull out the uh, pop-up lever and work the old faucet back out. Okay, I'll put that to the side. And you can see that does leave, um, especially on culture, culture marble, it leaves a, a discoloration around it. So uh, sometimes you can't get that off just because it's it's either um, been covered up for years and just uh, you just gotta work at it as much as possible and just have a, you know, a little forgiveness if it doesn't actually come out of the uh, culture marble. So we'll spray that down with a little soapy water. You can feel a little bit of hard water where it sat there. Um, I use this uh, hard water stain remover. It's called BioClean. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. And it, uh, I've used this probably for four or five years and it works wonderful. Just a little bit will do you. Move the paste around a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, unbox our new faucet. This is a Delta, and I like Delta a lot. Um, they're a great faucet, a great company to work with if, you, if uh, for warranty work as far as getting parts. So this one actually has uh, supply lines built into it, so we don't have to use supply lines that uh, have to connect below. And because this is three hole, We'll go ahead and use this base. Uh, so this this is uh, this faucet is either three hole or single. And we'll put our base on. Okay, line that up, and some some people do put putty between here and the top of the the vanity for seal. I don't do that. Um, I've seen it more times than not. Uh, when you do that, it stains this culture marble to the point where you actually cannot get rid of the stain. So I don't do that, I um, have any issues. If you bring it down tight enough, it should seal just fine. Okay, got that in place. So we'll do the hardware on it, and this will actually slip up like this. This will be on the underneath side. And then we'll put the retaining nut on and screw that in tight. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bracket and install that. Put the retaining nut on. And they gave us a handy dandy little tool here to tighten the unit up. Okay, well, once you get it, once you get it to the point where it's, it's, you get some resistance, you're gonna crawl back up top and adjust the faucet to make every sure everything is straight, and that's all good. So we'll come back down, 
I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more. We're going to take a screwdriver and just put it in the hole on the adjusting wrench. And, and tighten that bad boy up. Nice and tight. That's it. So then the next thing we're going to do, um, our supply lines are actually marked hot and cold. Attach our supply lines, and these are all, like I said, formed into the faucet. And a lot of new, a lot of faucet manufacturers are actually doing that now, which makes it pretty handy. So we'll just grip onto that, and that is it. That's all done, nice and clean. Put the cold on. Okay, that's it. All right, so I left the drain attached um, so I could test this. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the water back on. And we'll go back up top. So we got the water back on. And I'm going to test that, make sure everything's working great. Looks good to me. Um, what, a, what a difference. So I'm going to take up the, the pop up lever, the lever that uh, activates the pop up that's in the sink. And I'm going to just drop that down into place. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, attach the new drain. I'm going to undo the old P-trap that's on the unit. And then make sure you put a bucket under here. A uh, big important thing is to make sure you're wearing gloves. This is where, you know, a lot of spit, everything goes down the drain. Um, anything you don't want on your hands. So, I'm going to do that. And you can see that is a little, a little bit gross. Get that nastiness off there. And this is just the way it is. It doesn't matter whose drain it is, it's, it's always nasty. So we're going to take this part off here. And a good way to do that is just take your channel locks. And we're going to set that to the side. And we're going to undo this back nut that does the pop-up. That's the, the stopper inside. That's what it's connected to. So we're going to undo that, drop that in our bucket, I'm going to reach up top and remove that stopper that's in there. So that's out of here now too, so lovely. Okay, now that's all done. This is the, the bottom retaining nut that holds the drain tight to the sink. So. And we're going to wiggle this drain and I'm going to turn it and keep working it up. Okay. All right. So uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab onto this one of my pliers, but we'll move up top to show you exactly how to get that flange off. Okay. So I've got my lower pliers that are going to go onto the drain assembly down below. I'm going to grab onto that. So basically I'm just turning that like this. I'm going to take a small pair of pliers, grab onto this flange. I'm going to turn that down below. And once that breaks loose, I can unscrew this and wiggle it out. So then at that point, once that's removed, there's always a lot of gunk under here. Just take a screwdriver or something and um, remove that. It's kind of nasty, but that's the way it is. Okay, so we don't want to stop cleaning. We want to keep cleaning this once we're going here. And just take a piece of toilet paper and just kind of clean that up. What I find on a lot of culture marble lavatories is that when they make it, they put this little ring here and that's just for a seal so they can knock it out. These drains that come with these new faucets are all plastic. And a lot of times, A lot of times these won't fit in here. This one does, but what you can do if it doesn't, um, you can just take your uh, razor blade knife and just go around that and just cut that little flap off. And just drop right into your bucket down below. Let's get that done. We're gonna take our bio clean. 
and you can see there was actually a hard water deposit right there, and that's just taking it straight off. And then clean that off so we can get ready for our seal. Okay, next thing you're going to do is take your putty, and that's just regular plumber's putty. And then you're going to just get that at any hardware store, kind of roll that into a cord. And we're going to work that around our top drain flange. And that's done. All right, we'll just put that in the sink. Just like so. So now we're going to take our drain and get it ready. So I'm move this down so I can get some threads so I can screw it onto that. Okay, one important part. Now, since they changed these over to plastic, these threads are so coarse that they will leak. Um, so what I do is I, I use my thread lock or pipe dope, as plumbers call it. I'm going to coat that. So when that compresses, that's actually going to compress and that's going to make a good seal. Otherwise, this a lot of times, probably over 50%, these will leak after the fact. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to take this. Uh, take this down and insert it up through the drain and start screwing it in to the flange. And it's in place. And it's stuck. Okay, so we'll work down below. So the the connector that uh, connects onto the pop up rod um, that needs to be actually facing directly to the back. And don't worry, it's not messing the putty up, so that's right there. Now I'm going to start taking this nut and tightening that. That's going to compress the plumber's putty and make a great seal. I'm going to take my pliers. Um, at this point, you, can't, you can try to do it by hand, but a pair of pliers is easier. You, you go very, very lightly because it is plastic. Once you feel some decent resistance stop right there and I want to wiggle this around I can't wiggle it so we're nice and tight okay since we got that in place we're going to go ahead and we'll put our nut and seal back on and clean that off because it was pretty nasty so your nut goes on first of course the threads go to the bottom and then we put the seal and the bevel the small part of the bevel goes to the bottom and the big to the top and the reason for that is because it lands in the P trap like that. I see it. I see that backwards quite a few times, and uh, so and that won't give you a good seal. So I'll push that up. Move the P trap into position. Get that top nut loose and the other nut loose that goes to the wall, and then hand tighten that nice and tight, and that's it. That off. So the drain is connected. We just need to hook up the pop-up assembly. This is the rod that's going to actually inside that drain. It goes like this, and it, this rocks up and down on a cradle, and that makes that pop-up assembly or the uh, pop-up drain uh, go in and out of the out of the drain itself. So it's just like this. So what we're going to do is take this back nut off. There's actually a seal on this one. It feels like that seal actually fits yep, into the drain. I'm going to take this nut and put it like this. So that's, that's the way it's going to work like that, rock back and forth. So I'm going to take my uh, stopper now. When I pop that in, I'm going to align these two. It's hard to see what I'm going to be doing because it's in two different locations. But I'm basically inserting, this inserts into the drain. This rod will go into this and then I'll screw down this nut and that's what will take care of everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. Okay, I'm going to insert that rod in. I'm going to lower my drain into the up here and that's good. And you can hear it's all working fine. Okay, so the last thing and we're just about finished. So we have the rod that's coming down from the top of the faucet that you know, when you pull it up or down, it triggers the pop-up drain to uh, either go up or down. This is the rod that connects them, and this comes in different designs, but they're all the same. Uh, the, the rod that is for the lever will go through here, like this, 
and then this will actually fit onto the lever that we just did with the uh, drain attached to the drain. So this is a little keeper that you'll put this on the rod for the drain first. You'll pinch it and then install this on. I, it's kind of complicated, but it also show you in the directions on the faucet. Um, and then you'll actually install that and then let go, and this will keep the rod in place. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm going to fit this, and this is a little tight because this rod is a hair too long. I'm going to fit that in there. I'm going to kind of eyeball it to where I want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in this hole here. And then I'm going to take the little clip and I'll work that onto that rod as well. The rod is hair long. Okay, I'm going to compress that clip. Okay, so now that this is on, you can actually see how this clip attaches. It's on either side of the of the lever here, of the lever or the extension. I'm going to bring up the rod from the faucet and just slip that down in the hole. Okay, and everything is in good place. I'm going to screw this nut, retaining nut tight, and then I'm going to take my pliers, try not to get in the way here, I'm going to tighten that up till I feel some decent ten tension. So now this is a working lever. Okay, once we got the drain connected, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure the lever is working properly. If, if it isn't, just go ahead and readjust it down below. Um, and sometimes it just takes a little fine tuning to make sure everything's working right. And then we're going to test it, make sure it holds water, and it does. So we're all good to go. Um, and you can see the contrast in the two faucet designs, you know, the update um, with the stainless. I, I love stainless because it just it doesn't show any uh, water spots at all. Uh, well, I hope you were able to follow along, and, and if you have any questions, let us know um, you can just uh, through the comment. And uh, we appreciate you watching. And uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, thank you for watching DIY on the house.